What's up, everybody? We got a special guest in the blue collar boardroom. Let me tell you, y'all are in for a treat. My man Deshaun is a Just roof closer, a roof hustler. What is your saying, my man? It's, it's, it's infectious. Hustle hall, hustle small, and don't be afraid to bogle. And he's out there uh, in my streets uh, in, in in Florida, just killing the game, and 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 more importantly on YouTube, with uh, a lot of great content out there on how to help roofing salespeople close more deals, get more um, door to door sales, overcome objection. And so, uh, welcome to the Blue Card Boardroom, my man. What's up? What's up, man? Appreciate you having me, man. Shout out to all the hustlers out there. You know? Yeah, man. Glad to be in the building, Naples, Florida. Beautiful Naples, Florida. At that. So we're gonna dive deep into your personal journey as a yes, roofing sir. sales pro. Um, I think a lot of people struggle with uh, juggling their family, and, mm -hmm. and that's one of the things that you've been able to commit to. Yeah. Uh, and, and during the day, you spend most of the time taking care of business with family. Stay-at-home dad, man, yeah. And you still find a way to sell seven figures every year. Every year. Every so, year. So I guess I, I guess to start with your story, man, tell us a little bit about where you came from and, and what was it like before you started selling roofs? Um, so before I started selling roofs, man, I was pretty much like everybody else. Uh, worked at a retail store, used to work at Sam's Club, and um, I thought the way to go was become a manager and work your way up, and, you know, that's life. But um, we had, my fiance had got pregnant at, uh, we was 24. I'm 29 now, I'll be 30 in August. Um, and we had a baby on the way, and she was like, I don't want to send our kids to daycare. And I didn't know what I was going to do. And luckily, my best friend, one of his really good friends, was at a bar, was just chilling, drinking. And he was just like, man, I see the way you blend in with crowds. You could just mesh with anybody. I got a job I think you'll be great at. I ain't asking what it was. He ain't telling me what it was. I was like, let's go. And um, turned out that it was door-to-door -door sales. And I just love people. So I was like, if I get to talk to people all day, people tell me I talk too much. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? If I get to talk to people all day, it's not like something I'd be good at. And... First week, I closed four deals, and after that, man, I ain't never looked back, especially when I made $800 my first week because I only got paid off contracts when I got started. Right. And then it would take me two weeks at Sam's Club to make $600. Oh, so you and did. And I'm like, I did the math. I'm like, ah, I worked 20 hours here. I worked 60 hours here. Yeah, something don't make sense. So, yeah. well, uh, you're an inspiration to many. I've uh, actually, you know, really, really liked following your movement and your impact. Um, so tell me a little bit about Roof Hustlers and why you started that. The thing that inspired Roof Hustlers was when I got started in the industry, you know, a guy named Ian Lloyd, phenomenal dude. But he took me out in the field for two days and he said, all right, now nah, you got it. And I was just like, I got it? He was like, yeah, you got it. So after about two years of being in the industry, man, I just noticed, you know, I got to a point to where I was looking for more. Like I was on YouTube searching and the only people I found, you know, um, I guess it's okay to name drop, but the only person I found was Rebecca Switzer, you know, mm -hmm. roof sales mastery. A lot of people know who she is within the roofing industry. And, is, but, um, and I felt like she only gave me enough, but she yeah. didn't give, she didn't like, she didn't take me there to why I was like, I got it. Mm -hmm. And it was like, I had to pay for it. I'm just like, man, something just don't seem right about that. So not, not that ain't nothing wrong with making money, but I was like, I want to be the guy that's going to give Release the game, all the that's going to get a game to all my hustlers out there. Cause it sucks, man, being out there for a year or two and you just bumping your head. You don't know what to do. You And, you know, most people get paid off full commission. So when them checks ain't coming in, bro, life get rough, man. Yeah. Like, life get rough. So I wanted to save them the headache of what I had to go through, and I just wanted to give them the game and jumpstart their career, man, in the door-to-door -door industry. Well, you've been doing that, man. You've been jumpstarting some people in the field, and I see you out there. And I only yes, think so. you do, do, do that. I see what you've been doing here in Florida. So, um, you know, our, our purpose is to raise the status of the blue collar entrepreneur and to, to be the best facilitators of success. We like teaching people how to fish because we believe that, you know, the corporate America, everybody that's got all the money, they don't really want us to win. And, uh, you know, going door to door is something that is a great vehicle, but there's always stuff you got to expand off of. And as you create content and go into being a consultant, that's an extension of what you love most, but it's a second form of, of income. Is yes, that sir. correct? Yes, sir. So what are your goals there? So my goal with the consultant side, because, you know, I am blessed that I get to go spend time with other roofing companies, coach and train their guys. So my goal is to become one of the, if not the best, door to door trainer in the roofing industry. And um, on top of that, I also I'm working on my my own personal thing called Roof Hustlers University, where 
because I love spending time with my family. Like, that's my top priority. You know, people always ask me why I don't work more, and I say, because my kids only kids once. You know, certain things I don't want to miss, and that's never more important than money. So I, um, I'm going to start Roof Hustlers University where guys are, you know, come to pay and get into the university, and I take them through a um, – a four-week, eight-class training course, and I just teach them the game, give them the mindset, give them all that stuff, and they graduate from Roof Hustlers University, and they polished and ready to hit the field. And also, I eventually want to do seminars and just, you know, just big events for the roofing community, the door-to-door community as a whole. But, yeah, I want Roof Hustlers to be associated with the roofing industry as far as when it comes to training. That's what you think of. Oh, man, you ever heard of Roof Hustlers? And boom, they come right to me, so that's the goal. Well, that when I first saw you, that's exactly what I saw. I saw somebody with some of the same similar goals as I did on Instagram, and you were making an impact out there in, in Tennessee with a good company. And, yeah. um, you know, then we connected. And, you know, what What I liked about what I've seen so far with you is not only are you out there teaching, but you're out there learning, too. You, you actually were like, man, I want to get some commercial. Yep. You got involved with Sky Diamonds University, yep. purchased the course yourself. Yep. I see you come in, and I'm like, Man, that's really cool. I, I, cause when I saw you, honestly, I was like wanting to know what was going on, and and I was like, man, that's a cool dude, you know. But that's the first time I'd ever seen you before, mm-hmm. and it's one of my new focuses now to, um, cause I, I I sort of spent all my time on Facebook and Instagram, didn't establish the right YouTube yeah. presence, you know. And I have a lot of content on YouTube, but you know, putting it out in a way that's you know findable is mm-hmm. something that that this year has been a new focus. So, um. You know, my point is, is that I want to make sure that you know that we can help each other win big together. You I know? agree wholeheartedly. So, yeah. so uh, at the Seven Figure Mastermind, I want to invite you to come speak, bro. Oh man, that is, that is not nah, that's amazing. I appreciate that. Now nah, yeah. I'll be honored to come through. Yeah, this yeah, is I love the, it. this will be the third year, but more importantly, like we want all different voices to motivate, to give them different ways to overcome the objection. We're fixing to play a game, handle that objection, get the inspection. That's hey, your man, game right that's there. That's my game right there, man. All right, so we're going to play that. We're going to see what you got out here. We're going to put you into the test. I'm going to be hard on you. I like it. But, uh, you know, more importantly, like, I can give somebody training. You can give somebody training. They can take what they want from me. They can take what they can, they can make it their own. And yeah. when they hear the different parts and pieces, if it simplifies the process and gets them training, I don't care who it is. You know, if you look at the Peloton bike, they have a range of different places that you can ride your bike and a yeah. range of different instructors to teach you who to, how to go. Mm-hmm. And so that makes the environment to train more engaging. And that's why I want to get Roof Hustlers University inside of Sky Diamonds University. Nah, it makes all the sense to me, man. And um, the more places Roof Hustlers can be, I'm all about it because I remember I heard Grant Cardone once say, you know, he meet people and they say, hey, do you know how I am? And they say, no. And he's like, that's my fault. Yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't been doing enough. So that's how I feel. I meet certain people. I've been blessed. You know, I, I done been here twice, and the two times I done came, and I met two people that's like, oh, man, I watch your stuff. Oh, man. I, so, you know, I, I I know that it's getting out there, but I know the Sky Diamonds University, Roof Hustlers collaboration, man, that's like, that's going to be a game changer, man. So he's actually been in charge now to jumpstart an office in Tampa. Now, you you jump, you, you made a change. You made a shift. You had to. What happened? I mean, would say either way. You don't have to go about the story, but why? Why now making this change? Where where you know you're kind of moving into a new chapter with 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 us, in in running the storm. Yeah. So um, I was with my previous company for about four and a half years, and um, great company, great guys. But within that time frame, I'm the reason that I kept myself alive. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I'm an avid reader. I read about three to four books a month. I see that. You know what I mean? I just study. Like, I'm a, I'm a big student I'm gonna, when I'm it comes to success. Please do, man. I love a good read. Right now, I'm reading Compelling People, phenomenal book. But I just I love to that. study. And um, I got to a point now to where I'm like, I'm ready to go to that next level, and I know my previous company couldn't do it for me. You know, the most they could probably do is give me more leads, but I ain't want more leads. I want more knowledge. I want more exposure. I want more experience. And I couldn't get it there, and then I was blessed that we connected. And he said, hey, man, I, I could teach you X, Y, and Z, but you, you want to come on board? And I'm just like, man, that's a blessing in disguise because prior before we met, I'm a big, I got a big faith, man, and I was praying on like, hey, God, if this commercial game right for me, you know, open the door for me. 
and then two days later you hit me up on Instagram. So it wasn't a coincidence. No, it's you not know what a mean? It wasn't like a, uh, and like I, that's how God work, man. No, so, as soon as we get done here, we got to go look at a commercial route too. No, exactly. No, that's gonna be awesome. Hopefully, I can come along. But yeah, you um, can. We gotta hurry though. So <laughs> that's not hundred percent. But yeah, that's how um, that happened. So I'm joining the squad. We about to get Tampa up and booming, man. And they might not know about our RCA yet in Tampa, but they are gonna know soon. Well, they are gonna know about the Roof Hustler Sky Diamond University full contact package that we got. Basically, um, Deshaun likes scheduling at least one contractor a month to go visit. And yep. if you're in my network, you watch train, you want Deshaun to come go, you know, head to head with your sales team, go door to door, take them in the field. Like we got a full contact package that's going to involve one on one training because, you know, I'm busy here in the boardroom and with 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 our RCA, I can't I can't travel to everybody's office. Mm -hmm. But with a partnership with Deshaun as a one on one uh, door to door trainer that I endorse and think has got great training and is the real deal and is a genuine dude then, you know, we can both maybe uh, help your business grow with uh, impact. And, you know, when we can go demonstrate that our system works, then what that does is it causes belief in people. And that belief, it can drive business every single month. All they have to do is see that it's possible. When you That's walk it. into the neighborhood and you go into someone's turf and you close three deals, four deals in a half a day, what does it do for the whole team? It, it get them fired up, man, just like when I was in um – Chattanooga a couple months, like last month, I think. We had a snow day, so we really couldn't get up on roofs. But um, we went out there on a Sunday, man, and, well, within a seven-hour range of seven hours of me being in the field with the guys, man, we set up 17 appointments. And then on a Sunday, we went out there for an hour, and we set up eight appointments. And they still closing those deals. Like, they just hit me up the other day. Hey, man, I just, the neighborhood we was in, I just closed another deal. So it just gets them fired up to a whole new level, man. And it just brings back that, um, like that you think about feeling. the value, let's break down the value of what a good neighborhood start is. And this is the key to a good sales manager. It's full contact. They take the salesman into the field. They help the salesman land the first two or three deals while yep. they play with objections. They walk with them down the street. They talk about the roofing cell as they go up and down the street. They demonstrate the cell in the morning sales meeting. Then they demonstrate the cell in the field. When they see the two connect, they understand the philosophy does work. And they see it happen in the neighborhood and you're coaching them alongside. The act of holding their hand starts the neighborhood, which could lead to 15 jobs, 10 jobs, 12 jobs, however many it does. 100%. But it could also um, just completely get a guy bought, bought into your company. And yep. so if you sell five jobs in your first two weeks, you're w much more likely to stick. And so if you think about the value of someone to continue to work for you, you think about the value of that neighborhood. So you don't, you realize the value of having a roof hustler come into your office and spark your book of business. And so that to me is about the power of a collaboration and here. Then also, I would like to throw in there that um, from a sales guy perspective, that been with a company that they never invested in us. It let a guy know, man, my company care about me, that they bringing somebody in to help me get better. And that allows somebody to buy more into your company and more into your culture because now they know they're not just a number, but they seen as a person and somebody care about their growth. And I think that's important for sales guys to know because, you know what I mean, we, we the – we the foundation of the company. We the guys that keep the lights on. We the door knockers. We the we the go getters. So we like to know outside of an incentive that we cared about as a person. So we bring people in, man. That make people buy more into it. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. My superpower, believe it or not, isn't closing deals. That's not my superpower. My superpower is my ability to put groups of people together, man. Mm -hmm. It's my ability to build a team, and it's my team actually themselves that all the com combination of what they can do that is you know, essentially the superpower of the whole thing. And 100%. and when I look at the fact that all my elite friends and family members are a part of the team, when I look at a part of my organization, they are a part of the team. Everybody all the way throughout a different level is a part of this team. What we know is that one day we're going to be the largest force in the roofing and blue-collar success world. No doubt. And we're going to facilitate people's success. We're going to provide a real vehicle for lasting change. They're going to have an opportunity to get, you know, really people that they can trust and really a business system that's not fugazi. It's not something that is a network marketing company. Mm -hmm. It's not something that's a corporate America 401k, you're laid off the next day type thing. It's, it's, it's a deal where you can control your own destiny. You can see the path of building your own business. And, you know, as long as we continue to um, help roofers together, 
we're always on the same path. So a rising tide raises all ships. And Amen. instead of looking at it in terms of like, oh my gosh, there's a competing consultant on Instagram, the average person might looked at that and never reached out, never 100%. commented, never liked. Then the average other consultant would have never bought the training. Oh, yeah. my stuff's the best. I'd have never done yeah. it. No, first thing I did was buy it. I'm like, both of us are open yeah. minded. Yeah, you man. know what I'm saying? So that what what do I do? I'm buying in in you. And I'm saying, okay, here you have an opportunity to lead a team. You have an opportunity to be a sales manager. You have the opportunity to go out here and build an organization. And I'll help you with like the back end. And yes, all you sir. have to do is the part that makes the money, which is bring the people in, which force door to door in the field yeah. and then spread results through my community. Cause I don't give a crap about anything else. The only thing that matters is us doing what we say we're going to do and, and making people actually better because 100%. the West, the rest is wasting time and we ain't got time for that. No, I agree, man. I got two babies, so I don't got no time to be wasting. Unfortunately, roofing contractors out there sometimes need to be held accountable in person based on the fact that they think that if they hire a coach that it's a magic pill solution like it's an infusion like all of a sudden because you're a part of the program that you're, you're going to get, get the better. results yeah. that some of these other guys who not only put the money out but they put the time they put the self the creativity they make the videos they they follow the, they they come to the events and sometimes they hear the same things over and over and over again they hear the same things until sometimes you know one week at a time one thing is implemented you know, we teach sales, marketing, operations, leadership. We teach how to build a, you know, first $5 million company, then 10, then 20, then $50 million plus organization. And, you know, we, we really are honored that people are paying attention to what's going on. Yeah, I feel the same way. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm blessed to be a part of it, man. You know man? I'm excited to come on board and, like I said, take okay, over Okay, so let's play this game now, man. I, I got some hard objections for you now. You ain't getting All right, man. Now, right? Hey, that's what make it fun at the dough, man. When they lay down, you know what I mean? I almost don't like those. Okay, so we're in Tampa right now, man. We're, we're working this ghost storm, okay? Yep, yep. You were, you were working ghost storms for five years. Yep, man. I don't okay, so storms. I'm going to hit you with, some, age, hit you with the ghost storm objections. You ready? Yes, sir. Hello? Hey, good afternoon. How you doing today? What's up, man? I'm chilling. How about yourself? I'm good. Awesome, awesome. I'll be very brief. Are you the homeowner here? Yeah. Awesome. My name is Deshaun. I'm with RRCA Roofing. We're in the neighborhood today because we've been helping homeowners like yourself get brand new roofs. Cool thing about it, we get the insurance company to pay for it. Sir, I'm not interested. I completely understand, man. Well, have you had somebody out here to check out the roof lately? No, because there's no damage. Awesome, man. You know the name of your homeowner's insurance? No. There's, I don't know what storm we're talking about. Oh, well, sir, to be honest with you, man, there hasn't been any recent storms in the area, but we have been finding a ton of storm-related damage in your neighborhood. Mm. And we've actually checked out your neighbor roof. You know Mr. John down the road? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, Mr. John felt the same way that you felt, man. He told me it wasn't no damage up on his roof either. And then we got up there and checked it out. Turns out he had enough damage. We was able to help him get a brand new roof. Like I said, man, we was able to get the insurance company to pay for it. Cool thing. What's your name, sir? Lee. Mr. Lee, cool thing about this process, the average deductible that we typically deal with is a thousand bucks. If you had enough damage, I can help you get your entire roof replaced for a thousand bucks. Possibly less, man. Sounds great, don't it? Yeah, it sounds all right, man. All right, man. Well, first thing I need to do is get up there and check out the property. That way I got a better idea what's going on. Can't you just leave me a business card? I could, man, but I'm already in the neighborhood. So how about this? Let me give you my business card. I'm going to go get my ladder out of the car. I'm going to pop it up on the roof. I'm going to get up there, check it out for you. Five to ten minutes, I'll be back out and show you what's going on. All right, go ahead. All right, perfect, man. There he goes. Handle that objection. You got the business card. You got two not interested, okay? So now we're going to close the deal, okay? So I, I, I gave you a tough – that really wasn't that tough. but It, it wasn't was, that tough. You did good. You got good energy, and you got good good word tracks. Um, I think that was good. All right, so uh, now we're going to close the deal, all yeah. right? So I want, I want to know how you close. I want to know how this works. <clears> so I'm going to hit you with some objections. Price, I'm going to talk to my neighbor. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit you with every one of them. All right. All right. So you knock on the door and come back Boop. in and close. All it. right. Let me get in the door. Same person. Hey, Mr. Lee, how you doing? Oh, man, I'm all right, man, man. I'm busy, my man. I'm just going to tell you I don't have much time for this. Awesome, man. You got about 30 minutes? No. All right. I only need 20. So anyways, we done got up on the roof. We did find enough damage to where we feel pretty confident we can help you get a new roof and mm -hmm. get the insurance company to pay for it. Okay. So what we're going to do today, man, we're going to go over some basic paperwork. I don't need no paperwork because yep. I don't sign anything. Understand. Well, after that, we're going to get in contact with your insurance company, let them know what's going on. Okay. But they're going to do Lee. They're going to send out their own adjuster. What we do for you, I come back out here, get up there with them, showing the damage that we found. You got somewhere we can sit down real quick, man? Okay, come on inside. All right, perfect, man. So, boom. This is an agreement we have with all our homeowners. 
I'll go over everything before you sign anything. Before we get the ball rolling, Mr. Lee, man, you kind of told me you didn't want to sign nothing, but you told me you did want a new roof, right? Man, I mean, look, here's the deal. You seem like a nice guy. I just don't sign anything on the first day. I completely understand, but you do want a new roof, right? Yeah, I want a new roof. All right, and it do make sense to pay a thousand bucks versus fifteen thousand bucks, right? Here's the, I'm just not convinced. I don't, I don't think I don't I don't know, man. I just don't think I don't, I don't know if I even want to call my insurance company. I can pay for this roof. Let me ask you a question. Um, which window you throw your money out of so I can sleep there at night time? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, what'd you say, sir? Well, I'm just saying you've been paying your insurance company for what fifteen years? Yeah. Right. Usually the premium by what fifteen hundred a year. Yeah. Right? You do the math on that, 15 times 1,500, you done pay for a roof out of, you know, you done paid your insurance company to get you a roof replaced. You put it that way, you know, I, I did pay my premiums, but I just don't see any legitimate damage. I completely understand. Well, that's why we do what we do. We hit a represent on your behalf. When that insurance company adjuster, when he come out here, I get up there and I show him the damage that's up there. You go to the doctor, you know, to get your body checked out, right? Yep. You don't let your wife check you out, right? Uh, yeah, as much as possible. <laughs> but anyways, it's just like you take your car to a mechanic, man. They can show you the things that you can't hear or see. That's what I do for you with this property, man. So the things that I say up there, most the the bare eye, they're not trained to see them, man. And I wouldn't be wasting your time or wasting my time, Mr. Lee, if I feel like I can get this roof bought for you, man. So what I want to do for you today is go over some basic paperwork. After that, we're going to get All in right, contact go over with the, Go over the paperwork, man. All right, perfect. First one at the top right here just says, if we don't get you approved, don't cost you a dime. Okay, good. Second one right there says that if we do get you approved, we want to be the guys that do the roof work. That's how we do business. Okay. Awesome. Third one right there says we're going to do the roof work for whatever your insurance company pays out. All right. They cut a check for 15 grand. We put all that money back into your property. Sounds sounds good. That fourth one right there, Mr. Lee, just says that we'll guarantee you anything. What I mean by that, not every process is 100%, man, but I feel pretty confident with the damage that's up there. Okay. And then that last one at the bottom just saying that's usually everybody's favorite one. says you give us permission to speak on your behalf with the insurance company. That way we can keep you up to date. And so we can stay up to date. That way you ain't got to worry about calling the insurance company because you seem like a pretty busy man, man. Now, look, all this sounds good, but, dude, my wife will kill me if I sign anything. I can put I got to talk to her. I got to talk to her. I got to talk to her. What time the wife get home? About six o'clock, man. She'll be home maybe uh maybe not, dude. It could could she might might be eight o'clock. I completely understand. What is she at work right now? Uh she ain't gonna be available. Just need to talk to her. Well, you her husband, man. I'm pretty sure she's always available for you. Well, she's she's not. She's got a crappy boss and he's terrible and she she's miserable and God, ugh, I'm so your wife making enough miserable? money for her. She seemed pretty stressed out, man. So you think you wanna put that stress on this roof on her? Can't you be the decision maker today? Mm, I could think about it. I guess so. Usually, I've been doing this for a long time, Mr. Lee, man. Usually, the women take care of the yard, and most of the men take care of, the, like, the labor, like the hard stuff when it comes to the yeah. property, man. Yeah, you're right about that. I should be doing that. Let me let me see that piece of paper, man. Yeah, man, here you go right here. Like I said, All man, right. if right, they come bro. out here and deny it, we shake hands, go on about our business. All right. Thank you. Sound good to me. Roof hustlers, guys. <laughs> We entertainers, dog. I almost felt like I was at the door for real, man. You were at the door for real. You yeah, were man. at the door for real. ready to go, man. You're ready to go. You can sign that one up. Does yeah. that count for the contest? Tell them about that no, contest we're running, boy. Yeah, so right You're now, missing on that contest. You, I know, man. I oh, came yeah, down here to network and, you know, to, build with some people. Get your but deal uh, done. Shout out to my boy, Brett, man. I hope he finished strong because I'm coming. Let's, let's take a look at this contest. I think it's three to two right now. Oh, no. I think it's three to two. He got three. I got two. So. Oh, buddy. Well, what goes to the end of Saturday? I got one. I'll go to the end of Saturday? Yeah, man. Okay, okay. I got one on Sunday, but I move that to Saturday. Oh, okay. you better no move problem. it up. No Goes to the end of Saturday. So, um, what do you think about the like competitive nature here of this contest and how it infused, uh, you know, some competition and and life and, and coming from a company, you know, not saying anything about anything, but what's it like coming into an organization with this much chatter and and, and competitiveness and sales? I ain't gonna lie, man. It's uh, refueling. I was telling my girl the other day that I feel like I'm like back in my first year. Nice. Like that's how I feel. Even though I got five years of experience and you know I, I do what I do at a high level. But it feels nice to get around other guys that's operating at a high level as well and just, you know, step in and, you know, still separate myself from them. But nice to be around a group of guys that's ready to go get it and, you know, talk a little crap in there and just, 
you know, they hold each other accountable, and accountability, I think, raised the level of um, execution big time, man. Yeah, so. man. And we all make each other better, man. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to keep one up each other all the way until we into the next stratosphere, my man. Yeah, man. And I'm the roof hustler, so I feel like I can't lose, man. No, you you're not going to lose, man. So, yeah. so be looking out for the roof hustlers inside of Sky Diamonds University. He's going to be coming out with a uh, a package here coming up soon. We're going to be putting together some courses. We're going to be shooting some stuff here in the yeah, got a lot of in, stuff in, works, in, in the lab, and you know. If you're watching this and, and you want your opportunity to tell your story, look, we're holding a contest right now. Here's the deal. You hit like, you hit subscribe, you you comment on these videos, and we're going to be giving out trips on the yacht, trips on the fishing boat. We're going to give out videos shot in the studio, in-person trainings. We're going to give out access to universities, sky diamonds, roof hustlers. Look, we're growing the YouTube channel. Share this thing. Share this podcast. Like, subscribe. Man, very honored to have you here, Deshaun. Nah, man, honored to have you on my team, here. dude. And yes, I promise sir. you, like, like we are a hundred percent, thousand times better since you joined us. And on Tampa, we about to take that city over. You, all them people out there looking, bet oh, they, no, bet, it's, they, it's, they, they don't know what happened. We coming, man. We, we coming strong. Do you see all this like collaboration between like very, very high level? Like around here, it'd be looking like the Golden State Warriors. Hundred percent, back to back, just back to back, back to back champions. You ain't even met some of the people, like you know Omar. But like I said, dude, I got another dude that just came on the same week on the East Coast. Tyrone, I got um, you know cats all up and down uh, from the door to door world coming in that are like blowing, like just talent level. What? Because basically, there's a different level of talent. Omar here is with us. He sold 400 roofs in one year. Yeah, that was crazy. What's the most you ever sold in a year? I think the most I ever did in a year was maybe like 230. 200? Yeah. Dang, I ain't, that's number two. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I ain't never sold 200, okay? Yeah. I mean, because you're, you're focused on selling. And that's another thing Omar told me. He said, you know, uh, the reason why I'm able to do it is because I'm always selling, and I got people on the back end to keep up with all the different yeah. stuff. And I was talking to Omar as well, and I told him, like, our process was the reason I was able to sell so much, I never had to do inspections nor adjust the appointments. I just set up inspections, came back, and closed. So I had a lot of time to execute on closing and having to worry about getting up on the roof, seeing what damage it is, all that stuff. So, you know what I mean? That's what allowed me that free time just to close deals. Well, guys, um, click the link below. There's a free training, and if you want me uh, and Deshaun to come, maybe come see you, come implement the the, the combination of door to door digital marketing that will give you the unfair advantage of yes, triple sir. profits, yes, then you need to click the link below in the in the comments there and, and check out our little free training. And um, I got a special package called Sky Diamonds Full Contact. It includes Roof Hustlers. It includes yeah. Sky Diamonds. It includes Deshaun training in your office and i do want to say something before we get up out of here understand um never follow a man follow principles and when roof hustlers come to your company i teach on principles it ain't about me it's about these 11 door to door roof commandments man like god gave us 10 commandments i gave him 11 commandments for the field man and if you live and die bomb you have success man so just know it's it's a principle grind it ain't just all rah rah and talk you know let me tell you about my principle okay I was going to be the very best at bringing new people into our industry and provide the best vehicle for success. Those two things are what I wake up and and invest everything of my blood, sweat, and tears into. You're doing it, man. And so I'm really grateful to collaborate, to dominate with you. And I'll, hit us out with your, your saying. And as always, baby, hustle hard, hustle smart, and don't be afraid to bow guard. You got it. There we go. Just another day of hustling. Just another day of hustling, hustling. Another day of hustling. hustling. If it's out there, I'ma go get it. That's why I'm in the field trying to stay.